you have to know about the origin of internet. It started as a secret experiment, hidden away in government labs and university basements. Our story begins in 1969, when computers were the size of rooms and barely anyone had seen one. These machines were so big and loud, only scientists and engineers had access, and even they had to less time to use them. The US government launched a project called ARPANET, connecting four universities so they could share information. This was a radical idea at the time. Imagine sending a message from one computer to another hundreds of miles away. ARPANET was the first real attempt to make computers to be connected. ARPANET's first message crashed the system after just two letters. The plan was to send the word login, but the network only managed L and O before it failed. Even so, that tiny blip was a giant leap for technology. It proved that long-distance computer communication was possible, even if it wasn't perfect yet. This was the spark that would ignite a revolution in how humans share knowledge. As time passed, more universities joined ARPANET. The network grew, linking researchers and students from coast to coast. Suddenly, collaboration wasn't limited by geography. Ideas, data, and discoveries could be shared instantly, opening up new possibilities for science and education. Soon, scientists could send messages or emails across the country. Email quickly became the killer app of the early internet, making it easier than ever to communicate and work together. In the 1970s, new rules called protocols helped different computers talk to each other. These protocols were like a common language, allowing machines from different manufacturers and universities to connect and share data. Without them, the internet would have stayed a patchwork of isolated networks. Ever heard of TCP IP? That's the secret code that still powers the internet today. TCP IP made it possible for networks all over the world to join together, creating a single, unified internet. Fast forward to 1989 in Switzerland. The internet was already connecting scientists and researchers, but it was still pretty technical and hard to use. Most people had never heard of it. A clever scientist named Tim Berners-Lee had a big idea. Why not link documents together so anyone could access them? He imagined a system where information could be shared freely, using hyperlinks to jump from one page to another. This idea would make internet accessible to everyone, not just experts. That's how the World Wide Web was born. Suddenly, the internet wasn't just for scientists, it was for everyone. The first web browser made it easy to explore, search, and create your own pages. The web turned the internet into a place where ideas, art, and communities could flourish. Suddenly, anyone with a computer could surf the internet and visit web pages with just a click. The world was never the same again. People started building websites, sharing stories, and connecting with others across the globe. The internet became a digital playground, a library, and a meeting place all at once. From ARPANETs to the web we know today, the internet changed how we learn, work, and connect. That's it. But like and subscribe for more.